Hi friends, today we're going to read a book called The Gingerbread Man Loose at the Zoo. This book was written by Laura Murray and illustrated by Mike Lowry. It sort of reminds me of another book that was by Laura Murray and illustrated by Mike Lowry. The Gingerbread Man Loose at... In the school, yeah. We read that one. And it was a little bit different than some of our other gingerbread books that we've read before. It had some rhymes in it. It had two refrains. One of them changed and one of them didn't. But it was similar in some ways too. It had some children in there, right? And we've seen children as characters in other books. Another thing that was different is the gingerbread man was chasing the kids instead of the other way around. The problem was not that somebody wanted to eat him. So what I'm doing right now is I'm comparing and contrasting that other gingerbread man loose in the school book to some of our other gingerbread books we've read. We're going to do the same thing after reading The Gingerbread Man Loose at the Zoo. We should be able to compare, talk about how they're similar, and contrast, talk about how they're different. And the parts of the books that we'd be comparing and contrasting are characters, setting, event, beginning, middle, and end, problems, solutions, patterns, and the refrains those words that the gingerbread men say again and again and again. Let's read The Gingerbread Man Loose at the Zoo and find out how it is similar and how it is different from other gingerbread books we've read. The Gingerbread Man Loose in the Zoo by Laura Murray. I woke to the sound of a rumbling roar and hooting and howling and growling galore. I ran to my window to see this strange creature. Grr. Imagine my shock when I saw my own teacher. It's a rhyming book. My classmates all giggled. I joined in their game. We matched all her sounds to an animal's name. So we have pictures of animals. One of them says, hoo hoo. One of them says, ribbit, ribbit. One of them says, ow. And one of the animals says, S -s -s -s. It's zippity zoo day, get ready to go. Let's load up the bus and find out what you know. We'll go on a scavenger hunt through the zoo. Here are some animal riddles for you. I'll be a detective, I know that I can. I'll solve all these clues, I'm the gingerbread man. What does that sound like to you? It sounds like it might be part of a refrain. It's definitely something that our gingerbread man is saying. And I noticed in our other gingerbread book that the refrain was written in a different color than all the rest of the text. This one is written in a different color than the rest of the text. Hmm, let's find out. Have a wild day, said a man at the front as we pulled out our riddles to start on the hunt. Riddle number one. I'm spotted. I'm gentle. I'm tall as a tree. A branch full of leaves is the best snack for me. I have a new baby and she is my calf. Aha! We all shouted the answers. Giraffe! We followed the signs as we raced down the trail till we spied her long legs and her thin spotted tail. I jumped on the railing to get a good look and out popped her tongue like a curvy blue hook. She scooped me up high as her tongue curled around but nobody noticed below on the ground. My classmates were busy reading clue two. Oh no, I cried out, she's beginning to chew. I'll wiggle and jiggle as fast as I can. I'm not a green leaf. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, hmm. He's saying this now. Last time we had a refrain that changed in the other gingerbread man loose book. Maybe we have a changing refrain in this one as well. It's the action word that's changing. This time he says, wiggle and jiggle. I tickled her nose and she let out a sneeze. Achoo! 
Then I zoomed through the air to some tropical trees. A long loopy vine twisted down and around, so I whipped up my courage and swung to the ground. I glanced at my paper, then knew what to do. By solving the riddles, I'll find my class, too. So what is the problem? He is separated from his class. He lost his class. They left without him. Have we had another book where it's a problem that the gingerbread man got left behind? He's trying to come up with his own solution to the problem. He says, by solving the riddles, I'll find my class too. Riddle number two. I scurry, I screech, and I swing from my tail. I'm hanging around on the small primate trail. I love sweet bananas. I'm feisty and spunky. I know it, I shouted. It must be a monkey. I heard a loud rustle and turned in surprise to a small cheeky monkey with curious eyes. He picked up my buttons, then tried for my hat. No way, silly rascal. I can't give you that. I'm not a banana, I said as I ran. I must find my class. I'm their gingerbread man. He stayed on my tail as I dodged through the grass, but I squeezed underneath the tall habitat glass. I followed the riddles and found the big cats, the elephants, bears, and the naked mole rats. I waved to the zebra, the rhino, the seal, who was slurping down fish for her afternoon meal. The crocodile opened his toothy trap. He eyed me like I'd make a good ginger snap. The fox licked, it, licked his chops, so clever and sly. My classmates had warned, stay away from that guy. Why did his classmates warn him to stay away from the fox? I've got to keep looking. I know that I can. I'm not giving up. I'm the gingerbread man. I read the last riddle. I've got it, I said, then spied the right sign on the trail up ahead. I raced down the path and my feet fairly flew. Then out from a shrub popped a small kangaroo. Sniff. Oh, I notice in the illustration he seems to be crying. She started to whimper, hopped this way and that, then snuffled and shuffled and slumped as she sat. Are you lost, little Joey? I'll help you get back. I'm kind of lost too, but I'm on the right track. So we have a new problem in the book. Kangaroo's lost. I'm following animal clues through the zoo and I'm willing to bet that you know this one too. I love eating grasses. My ears are quite long. I use my strong legs as I'm hopping along. My mom has a pouch where I play peekaboo. I looked at my friend. See, this clue's about you. She opened her pocket and pointed inside. I tucked myself in and said, hey, thanks for the ride. We'll follow the clues that say kangaroo. They'll lead to my classmates and your mama, too. Together, we'll find them. I know that we can. A small kangaroo and a gingerbread man. We hopped down the path to the grassy savanna and spied a large crowd near the outback cabana. I popped from her pocket and jumped to the ground. She sprang to her mom with a long, leaping bound. My classmates all pointed and let out a cheer. We followed the riddles and found you all here. You're such a smart cookie. You helped save the day. Our Joey got lost and you showed her the way. I'm so very proud of my super zoo crew. And now it's time to head back to our habitat too. Here's one more riddle to solve while we go. The answer is someone I think you might know. I'm smart and I'm tough and I'm a really sweet guy. I have buttons, a hat, and a little bow tie. When problems arise, I cook up a plan We've got it, they cried. It's our gingerbread man. How is this book similar or the same as some of the other gingerbread books that we've read? How is it different? Thank you for reading with me today.